Han spotted something peculiar earlier, nestled among the stalks, but hadn't paid it much mind. Now, as he passed by, a flicker of movement caught his eye. He stopped the tractor, squinting towards a cluster of smooth, white orbs. Eggs. But these were no chicken eggs. They were enormous, almost as big as his fist, and they pulsed with a faint, rhythmic beat. A wave of unease washed over him. He'd never seen anything like it in his years on the farm. He imagined snakes, their scales gleaming in the dying light, their forked tongues tasting the air. His mind, however, was already racing towards the solution, his tractor. One swift pass and the mystery would be solved. As he turned the engine back on, he saw Mary and Giselle, his daughters, their faces alight with curiosity. They had been playing in the field, and now, with wide eyes, they approached the mysterious eggs. Papa, what are those? Giselle asked, her voice filled with wonder. I think they're snake eggs, Mary piped up, her eyes filled with fear. We should leave them alone, Hans said, trying to sound firm. They're probably not good. But Papa, Mary pleaded, her voice trembling, maybe there are babies inside. Shouldn't we let them hatch? Babies? Bonnie, Han's wife, joined them, her voice laced with apprehension. We don't know what kind of creature might come out of those eggs. Han's heart softened. He couldn't bear to see the disappointment on his daughter's faces. All right, all right, he conceded, his voice gruff but his eyes betraying his relief. We'll leave them alone for now. But if anything comes out of those eggs that's not friendly, I'm squashing it. Days passed, filled with nervous anticipation. The family took turns checking on the eggs, their hearts pounding with every rustling leaf, every bird call. Then, on the third day, something miraculous happened. A thin crack appeared on one of the eggs, then another, then another. The rhythm of the pulsing inside quickened, turning into a frantic tapping. It was as if a tiny prisoner was desperately trying to break free. Bonnie gasped. They're hatching. She exclaimed, her voice filled with a mixture of fear and awe. Mary and Giselle held their breath, their eyes glued to the eggs. Hans, too, felt a surge of excitement, a thrill that he hadn't felt in years. He had been right, there were babies inside. Revealing a soft, wet creature. It trembled, its eyes closed, its body covered in downy feathers. A tiny beak chirped weakly, and the girls shrieked with delight. Bonnie rushed to her husband, her face pale. Hans, she whispered, her voice shaking, I think it's a... A peacock. Hans stared at the chick, its magnificent blue and green feathers already beginning to shimmer in the morning sun. He couldn't believe it. All those years, he'd been a farmer, but he had never seen a peacock, let alone raised one.